The Dennison family is really a storybook in our industry. In 1948, Frank Dennison came down from Michigan and purchased a yard in Fort Lauderdale that became Broward Marine, which is one of the most storied yards in American shipbuilding. In total, Broward built almost 300 yachts, and today I get the privilege of bringing you one of those 300. I'm Will Knopfsinger with Dennison Yachting, and this is Lady Sharon Gale. This is a 112 Broward motor yacht, delivered to her first owner in 1999. There's a ton of innovations on board that Broward really became known for. Something like the wide body that you see behind me giving you a massive amount of interior volume, the country kitchen that keeps your galley up on the main deck and gives your group another space to gather and relax, all while delivering generous room in a four cabin, five head layout that includes a full beam master suite. Lady Sharon Gale also has a few things that most comparable Browards don't. This versatile cockpit here on the aft deck and MTU engines, which is something we really need to highlight because most of these yachts have Detroit diesels. And that's something we'll touch on later. You can see right now that the Davit is in the vertical position. It's getting serviced right now and ready for a charter. We're gonna do our best to work around that. I'm excited to get on board and show you guys exactly what makes them so special and why something like a cockpit is one of the best features you're ever gonna have on a yacht. We're gonna dive right in here on the aft deck and check out this cockpit. This is one of the only ones that was built this way. You've got excellent access to all your water sports. So if you wanna do your paddle boards or get your dive gear ready, this provides an awesome platform to get that stuff ready. We're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at this cockpit. We've got huge storage below us, and probably one of my favorite features is a deep freeze right here. You don't even have to go all the way inside to take all your cold stuff in. It's right there, conveniently located. Just next to it, we've got access to our engine room that takes us down to the crew quarters and the MTUs. And on this side, we've got a sink, prep area, and drop-in storage that also doubles as a cooler. Rounding out the cockpit, I've got shore power cords to either side and cap stands for docking. Let's go check out the aft deck. And what an awesome aft deck it is. It's super spacious, has a lot of great features like this built-in bench seating, the wet bar behind me, and you've got a really unique staircase. This spiral setup is something I've never seen on another boat before, and I really like the fact we got the upgrades of LED lighting and brand new sound system. Brower did an excellent job when they designed this flybridge. It's got four features that are super prominent, and most boats don't have them all. The first feature is the tender storage, which is located aft. The nautical structure's davit can launch either of these two Sea-Doo wave runners, and with the 2,000 pound capacity, you've got the option for different toy configurations that might be more suitable for your program. The second and most prominent is this jacuzzi. It makes or breaks most flybridge motor yachts, especially if you're going to take it on charter. The third must-have of a flybridge is functional guest space. The crew has their wet bar to starboard with a sink, fridge, ice maker, and all the storage needed to prep the table for guests. An aspect that makes Browards more appealing than most of their competitors is the customization factor. Soft decor can be changed and it's common to see throughout the lives of these yachts. Lady Sharon Gale is no different and has seen several. The appeal lies in the ability to make this blank canvas something new that you can call your own. And finally, the fourth feature is a well-laid-out helm station. Captain Mark has a new Furuno TZ Touch display at his fingertips, located at both helms, not just here. We also have two Simrad autopilots, access to the Nyad hydraulic bow thruster, Nyad stabilizer controls, MTU displays, VHF radios, and anything else possible for Captain Mark to move this ship. The last feature to point out up here are these two wing stations located to port and starboard. Let's follow the hardtop back past the jacuzzi, down the stairs, and into the salon. This is one of the more marquee design features you're going to find on any Broward. When they did the wide body, it gave you the ability to customize a space that really feels like an apartment. These guys decided to upgrade their floors and gave it this distressed tile feel, but it's an amazing space that you can make your own thanks to all the freestanding furniture. And right now you get the full dramatic effect. Pushing the walls out, eliminating the walkarounds gives us this massive feel. Seating in the aft section of the salon, 
storage along both sides outboard for the dining table's cutlery and glassware. With another wet bar just forward, equipped with a fridge, ice maker, sink, and most notably, the 80-inch smart TV located above. We're gonna continue forward here. As we walk forward on the starboard side, this takes me to the foredeck. This right here is a super important day head, and this takes me to the pilot house. But for now, let's check out this country kitchen, which is a name that Broward pretty much trademarked. If you look around, we have tons of space. This feels like a kitchen in somebody's home. Full size appliances. I can't emphasize enough how important that is. Specced out to be able to fit in a home so you don't have to custom order anything should you want to change anything. A cooktop with a stainless steel hood, something not found on most yachts. Beautiful granite countertops, dishwasher, trash compactor, and a wine cooler. Ford in the galley is a little breakfast nook, which really is what constitutes as a country kitchen. Having this area to hang out while the chef's cooking keeps the family together while you're relaxing in the morning. This little breakfast nook is where I had my coffee this morning, and it's awesome for the crew. Something we got to highlight before we continue on is a control four system. I can do anything from change the lighting to the sound system, even check the weather with a simple push of a button. There's also a panel in the salon, as well as all the staterooms, which we'll check out in a little bit. Forward and to starboard of the galley, we have access down to the VIP stateroom. This is yet another aspect that I love about this layout. It's completely secluded from the rest of the boat. Very generous for a VIP, with space for the queen berth Ford, entertainment system, storage throughout. It even has a desk and a walk-in closet, with the ensuite head on the opposing side. Moving back where we came from to the main deck, there's access to the side deck, which brings us forward to the bow. And this section of the yacht is totally dedicated to lounging. Not only do you have this space here, but up a few steps, there's an even larger sun pad with an elevated view for amazing sunsets or viewing while you cruise. Another item to mention on the bow is your ground tackle, and this one features two Maxwell 4500 series windlasses. So Broward, like we've talked about the entire time on this boat, does an amazing job of giving you huge space. So we're gonna go down and check out the two guest staterooms and the master stateroom. Let's see those. You're gonna be really impressed about how much space you get. Let's go. All right, so we're coming down here to the master stateroom, which is forward. But first, we're gonna check out these two aft staterooms. Let's step in the port side first. You guys get a good look at exactly what I love about these staterooms. There's two beds. <laughs> Sometimes I enjoy staying in this bed and my wife in this one so that I can get out easily and hit the head if I need to without interrupting her. If you have kids, excellent spot for the kid to stay. You guys can stay here and you still have easy access to your own ensuite head. On top of that, we got tons of drawer storage here and a nice TV that pops out so you can watch it from any part of the room and a huge closet so you can store all your clothes for any kind of trip you go on. So we're gonna check out the other stateroom, which is a mirror image of this one. One thing we'll point out because we didn't do it over there is that both rooms, like every room in this boat, carry a control four system, audio, visual, all the tip of your fingers right here. We're gonna check out the master stateroom. That's what everybody's been waiting for. Before we do that, just a quick note, washer dryer here, both by Electrolux and they're brand new. Nice to have that for your stew to be able to do all the bedding and whatnot in here. You're gonna see a really nice full beam master stateroom. You got a his and hers closet. Both of them have automatic lights, tons of storage. Hang all your stuff for the weekend getaway. You got the same thing on the other side and LG, smart TV, watch Netflix, watch the game, whatever you want. We also have a nice refrigerator here so you can have any beverages you wish while you're watching TV. A few steps aft, his and hers heads that each have access to the walk-in shower at the center encased in glass. The crew quarters and the power plant of Lady Sharon Gale are accessed here in the center of this cockpit. Let's go check that out next. On the starboard side, we've got a full walk-in head and a full walk-in shower that all three of these crew quarters accommodate. 
On the port side, we have two staterooms. This is a single, and just four to that, we have two over-unders. On the starboard side, we have the captain's quarters. And separating those is a full washer dryer. So we're here in the engine room. That's the next stop on today's tour. It's a little loud because you're gonna hear the chillers and the engine room blower. We just got back from a trip, but that's what happens after you shut down your 16 V2000s, which you can see on either side of me. Awesome access for any mechanics that need to do any work. Get to your generators, which you have two of. 55 KW Northern Lights generators, more than capable of powering the entire boat. We've also got brand new Mach 5 pumps for everything in the boat and brand new chillers, so everything stays ice cold. And something that really rounds out this room is that we have displays and they're both brand new from MTU. So if anybody's down here, they can see exactly what's going on with everything on these engines. At 1000 RPM, we're burning just 22 gallons an hour and that delivers a speed of 10 knots. And with a reported fuel capacity of 7,500 gallons, that gives us an economical range of almost 3,000 nautical miles. Earlier we mentioned that it's super important that this yacht's got MTUs instead of Detroit diesels. Well, let me tell you exactly why. Even though the Detroit diesels were great motors back in their time, the parts are coming harder to find and service can be difficult. It's nice to have a company as powerful as MTU behind you, 100% worth having. Thanks for joining us aboard today's tour on Lady Sharon Gale. My wife Carrie and I would love an opportunity to come back to St. Thomas and show you this boat behind me. Please contact us anytime. Probably the biggest strong suit of the boat is the fact that you can just make this boat yours and not have to sit there and work within the confines of what most yachts are. You just have a shell, you have a great shell to operate on. That's probably the biggest strong suit of a Broward.